All right, now I'm going to compare the W. Hoffman, which is made in the Czech Republic by C. Bextein, to a similar sized Bextein, which is made in Germany. So let's do that. So here I am at the W. Hoffman piano, and what's kind of cool about this, first of all, if you look at the wood finish, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to start off with the visuals first. It's a uh, polished mahogany, and I love the way it takes the light and reflects it. And if you look at it, it's just, it looks really good, and I like it. It's a dark wood color, and it reflects the light, and it's, it's nice. I like it. Also, what's kind of nice is that the action is pretty good, and it's very responsive, and it plays very well when I'm playing it. I don't have any kind of difficulty making it get louder or play softer. It does what I want it to do when I want it to do it, which is very nice. So I'm going to play a little bit here and a little thing up here in the treble so you can kind of get a feel for how sparkly and clear the tone is. sounded very nice and uh, the treble is very sparkly which is typical with these uh, European pianos it has a very nice clean sound to it and uh, it's a very good piano so let's move on to the Bechstein upright and see how that compares so here I am at the Bechstein piano it says over here in the corner that it's made in Germany and as you can see it looks a little bit different from the W Hoffman this is a satin walnut finish whereas the Hoffman was a polished mahogany. I personally prefer the polished mahogany look, but everyone has a different opinion. So someone out there might really like a satin walnut finish, which would mean they'd really like this piano. And um, so I'm going to play that same little thing for you on this piano, and you can hear how it compares to the W. Hoffman. the Bechstein piano is a little bit better. I think that the tone is a little bit clearer, and I also think that the action does respond a little bit better, and it has slightly more uh, response, and you have a little bit more control over what you're playing. However, the interesting part about these pianos is that the W. Hoffman is just a little bit less than half of the price of the Bechstein piano, but it is not half the quality. The pianos are actually very, very close in quality and playability, and I like them both a lot. So that would be something to consider if you're looking for a quality European upright piano. The W. Hoffman and the Bechstein pianos are both very good. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this comparison video, and I hope it helped you out a little bit.